Hey guys, you're watching Simon and Ali. My name is AJ and welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a Theme Park. Today we're back at the uh, Capture the Flag thing. I've done a little bit of work as you can see. Nothing, nothing crazy that you're going to miss. Hey Octopus, <laughs> what have you? I've also done a little bit of work on the castle. Uh, not an incredible much. I've put the uh, caps on all of the uh, towers that we've done so far. I mean, it's looking almost complete. The only thing that's missing, the only thing that I've got to do now, is on the back here. All the walls are all up. Uh, it's just that one last tower. And I think this last tower is going to go maybe to the top of that window with the sandstone. And the point will probably come up to about there. I don't know. Or maybe a little bit higher. I don't know. But a fourth tower. Fifth tower, sorry. On the top there. Uh, but yeah, all the windows. You guys haven't missed anything. It's all, all exactly the same sort of style all the way around. But I love it. I love it. It's one of my favourite ever builds, this castle. I don't know why. I just really, really like the whole general look of it. I'm very, very pleased with it. But we're working over here today. So, what have I done off camera? Well, I've put down a load of sand, which took absolutely forever, as you can imagine. I finished off El Helicopter. I think that looks pretty cool now. Uh, I've done the orange side, or the yellow side. I just used, like, orange and yellow, because I used... Uh, dark green and light green over there and I thought orange was a pretty close color I could have used a yellow stained clay which would have been a little bit more yellow but uh, I don't know I like I like this and uh, all the redstone is all hooked up as well so if I get a quick lever I can also show you this lever in here I haven't named them yet uh, but I can show you the reset so whee, fireworks all on they're the fireworks the yellow fireworks for the uh, yellow side and then over here, we've got the, uh, oh, I didn't need to put a, need, didn't need to take that lever out of the day. And then the green side wins with the creeper heads. So, reset button. Oh, hello, tank. If we come over here, I've got it all down. All you've got to do is push the button, reset button. And it resets them both. The levers travel down the water. It's so, it's such a cool reset. It's not really needed because all you need to do is break that lever off, run to that side, put it in the chest, break that lever off, run to this side, put it in the chest. But you've got to admit, this hitting one button is a lot easier. It should be there by now. Yep, and we're both back. Let's just double check over here. There's no reason why it shouldn't. Boop, there you go. And I tell you what, I really do like the water going down the middle. It's a really cool obstacle as well to have to jump over, maybe hide in, do you know what I mean? I like it. I really like it. Today we're going to work on some more vehicles. I think vehicles are a huge part in this. And the first one we're going to do is a Humvee, a Hummer. I don't know what you want to call it. I call them Hummers. Some people call them Humvees. Uh, big military vehicle. They do do a civilian version, I think, but it's <laughs> it's huge. Uh, but it'd be really cool to drive. So we're going to do a Humvee on the desert side. And on the woodland side, I don't know what you'd call it, but on the uh, normal sort of army camo side, we're going to do sort of a, a jeep or something like that. A little bit simpler, but I thought a Humvee on this side would be really, really cool. Let's get a button for the wheels. How wide do we want to go on this? I think four blocks. Okay, so there's the two front wheels. Uh, I think I'm also going to go with, we need some sort of grill. <gasps> a note block. I never thought of that. That could look pretty cool. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to place five blocks, five slabs. Two, three, four, five. Uh, from the front wheel. One, two, three, four, five. And then the back wheel is going to be there. They're big, big, big vehicles. Probably one of the biggest land vehicles that you will ever get on, <laughs> on any, I don't know, in real life or anything. Okay, so there's a couple of grills in there. I'm also going to need iron bars as well for like a grill i always like to use iron bars for like big old grills on the front and the nice thing is is they actually hook up to the note blocks so it looks like the grill's actually attached i was worrying that they were going to float because of my next bit what we're going to do is we're going to place a that one or that one that one i'm going to go with that no i'm going to go with this one because all the stairs and stuff are all like that okay we're going to put an upside down stair and another slab. I've got a cough coming. <coughs> That's it. That got it. And then on this side, do the same thing. I'm going to try 
attempt to do this as tutorial as possible. I don't know how well I can do a tutorial on something that I've never built before. But that's looking like an okay front. And then from here, uh, I think we're going to have to place oops, blocks underneath there. And we're going to have to place a block there. A slab there. Uh, a stair there. A stair there. I've got to come up a couple of blocks on this side with a stair. And a, another stair. This will be our windscreen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's not looking terrible. <laughs> I like how I say it's not looking terrible. It could look better, I suppose, but it's not so awful. Okay, and then that's going to be one door, and then the other door will be in there somewhere. But maybe, maybe I would prefer to have a stair there instead. Like if we do this, just so we get the wheel arch, I really like having... Uh, the high ride height. It looks like that it's got some suspension on it that would bounce up and down. Something like that. And then a slab there. And we need to connect that up maybe with a stair like that. What do you think? Like that. Like that. Like that. And then the slabs along the top. For this bit, for the doors, maybe we just use note blocks again. It looks a little armoured. Because if we do, uh, I suppose we could use this block as the doors. Yeah, that works. That works, and it keeps it the same colour. I just, if we use these normal blocks, they just blend in. Uh, they're not that terrible. What was this one like again? Not like that. That looks like doors to me. Okay, and then around the back here. Um, hmm. <laughs> let's do. Let's do the top first. Uh, we're gonna have to have slabs over the top here. Uh, we might as well go four blocks wide, like this, and I can't go any further on the back. On the front here is a nice easy one, we're going to do some spotlights, uh, which we can either use fences for, but I was thinking more along the lines of gates. Uh, they've moved them again, haven't they? There they are. <laughs> Stop moving stuff. So fences, fences would be like that, that's not terrible. Gates will look like they're floating. I like the gates. In fact, are they like floating? No, they are actually. They they almost connect. They almost connect. That looks okay. Cobblestone wall would be another option, but it would be very, very straight and flat. I like that. For the moment, we might change it up. And then for the back here, I think what we're going to do is something like... That would put a slab. Hmm. If we do that, maybe uh, upside down. Bits like that. Maybe some signs. There and there. And then... Something like... Ooh. Ooh. Uh, I liked that. That looked really cool. And I'm half tempted to put a slab there and there. What if we put a sign there now? Oh, is that better? It looks a little bit more tow trucky in my opinion. Doesn't it? Like looks like a, a recovery truck. But like that, I think that looks okay. That's a pretty cool looking Humvee. Maybe it would have been a good idea to swap these for stairs though. Uh stairs like that and then I really don't like how those stairs wrap around do I? that does look pretty nice and then put those back on that gives an interesting shape doesn't it? I like that so we've got a Humvee on this side there's a, a lawnmower going past I don't think you can hear that a lawnmower is like right outside my door and then over this side we're going to go with a jeep which is a uh, should be <laughs> A little bit more simpler to build. I think we're going to go with like a normal sort of car. Height and width. So we're going to go with two blocks between the length of the vehicle. Maybe three? No, we'll go with two for now. And the same on this side. We are going to have to change our blocks up though. Uh, we're going to need the green stained clay. We're going to need the green 
Uh, wool, when I can find it. Green wool. What else did we use? We did use... Uh, and just brown, isn't it? Yeah, and brown. Okay, and then brown. Normal brown wool. I keep losing wool. I keep going the wrong way on the trigger and then it confuses me. Uh, and then for a slab, I think for the slabs, I think we're going to go with uh, spruce. It's still brown. It's the closest to brown wool as you're probably going to get. So it shouldn't stand out too much. But I just want slabs on the bottom here, you see. And then around the front. We might as well put down a, a full chassis down here. And then... Hmm. We're going to need the item frames for this one. Maybe some snowballs or some headlights. Oh, I wonder if we can put any of those onto the Hummer. Or even some rear lights. Not really. I don't think it needs anything. I mean, these could go... Oops. If I crouch. That does look pretty cool. <laughs> With the spotlights along there. Ah... I like it. I like it. I can't put them here, though, I don't think. Oh, I can? <gasps> oh, man. Oops, I hit the note block. Oh, yeah. Of course you can. You can put item frames anywhere, even if they're, like, between blocks. It's so, so weird. That looks really, really cool, though. I like that. Okay, over this side. So we're going to want... Uh, let's do it all green first, like we always do. And I think we're going to go... Green all the way around the side. I've got a feeling that we might want some carpet as well. Yeah, if we use a note block for a grill again, I really like that in this texture pack. God knows what it looks like in other t any other texture pack. But that means that we're going to need some green carpet then. And possibly some brown carpet. Put some more camouflage in so we've got the option to cover that up. So we're going to have lights on the front. We're going to need some glass for a windscreen. Uh, black will be gotten rid of now. Uh, green wool, and then back here, like that, and then like that, and then if we put these on, we'll worry about the backlights in a minute and stuff. Is that okay? That looks okay. And then if we put the slabs on top, whoops, like this. I hope you can't hear that lawnmower. Let me just be quiet and see if you can hear it. I don't think you can. I'm looking at my... um. My audio, it doesn't seem to be spiking, so it should be okay. I apologize if you can. Okay, so let's put in a little bit of brown here. Let's put a brown in there and a brown in there. Oh, we saved the uh, the light as well. Brown carpet on there, brown carpet on there. And then green over the top. A lot of noise distractions today. I don't like noise distractions. <laughs> That's so cute. We might build a couple of these then, since they're so simple. If we use a wooden button, it might look like an indicator. It Yeah. That sort of looks like an indicator that, that the cars would have. Because these are more road vehicles, aren't they, as well? So they have to be sort of at least semi-road legal. I don't know if I like that. I think I'm going to go with a redstone block inside of an item frame. We haven't used item frames for a while, so I think at least for now we can use up some, some item frame space for that. And then if we get some signs back again, we can put on some uh, some mud flaps. I think they look like mud flaps. What about like as a door as well? If we done like a door there and a door there. This is like a Land Rover to me at least. I think it, it feels like we'll have that on the front as like a number plate. Would that be better as a number plate on the back? No, we could put one in there if we wanted to. There, yeah, that looks cool. I really like that back. And I don't think it requires anything else. I don't think it needs it needs anything else, does it? But that does look a little bit smaller than that one. So maybe we should put another one. Slightly different maybe. Like a convertible version of it. Facing. Let's do it still on this side. But facing that way. Okay. So. Black will again. We're going to need one there. Oops. One there. Two between it. It's going to be the same body. But just with a slightly different top I think. I'm going to need my uh, stone buttons back as well. Like, oops, like this. Hopefully you guys are following along. I haven't really made that many uh, crazy different uh, uh, changes like halfway through. So, oops, I threw my button. So if I have, uh, you should still be able to follow it and, and fix it for your own worlds. They look pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A, a huge military base 
it's making me want to do a huge military base more and more. Or oh, we just need a, a little bit of camo in where we can. Something like that. That's all we really need. Uh, if I put that in there, does that look so bad? What if I do... Oops. Oh, that looks okay. Yeah, it's like the tyre on the top. We don't have a black slab, unfortunately. If we had a black slab, I could put a tyre there. But that works out quite well. All right. On the front here, we're going to need our note block back. Note block. Goes right there. Again, we're going to go with just green for now. Like this. Slab on top for that same wheel that we've got. Uh, but for this one... That has to go there as well. For this one, I think we're going to use panes. Since they're a little bit thinner for convertible. And then the roof's down. So there's the roof on the back. No, it's not. <laughs> not really that much to it. Oh, I wonder if we get a fence post... Or maybe a, a stone wall would look better, actually. As a little exhaust pipe out the top. Let's have a look on the finished one. Oh, yeah. I don't like the exhaust pipe. I don't like that. Do I like it on this one? Let's put the lights on. And then the number plate on the front. Uh, like that. That looks okay. That looks okay. And then we need to cover this up. The trouble is, is that we can't actually put down the um, the slat, the uh, carpet underneath that. So then if we do that, and that, and then that. Brown one. Brown one. Light green one. Light green one there and there. And we'll do one there as well. So it's like a double one. Yeah, that works out okay. Uh, on the back here, we're going to have to do the same lights again. Try and keep it as similar as we can. Seeing as they are the same car, just one with the roof on and one without. Um, I sometimes use redstone as brake lights as well. They're pretty cool shape. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with that. And then put that there and that there. You can do them upside down as well. But I like them the right way up. Yeah, I like that. All right. Uh, so this one with the roof down as well. So we've got like three more vehicles in this episode. I like that. I do like that. That looks pretty cool. I think that's pretty fair as well. We've got obstacles to put on here as well. I want like um, sand. Maybe sandstone would look nice or nicer. Uh, sort of cover. So let's put one cover here. So we want something, something simple at first. Something like this. So you can hide and shoot arrows through. Like that. I think this is going to be a bow only fight as well. Something like that. I like that. And then if we put that, it just makes it a little bit more awkward to uh, to get cover behind. You know what I mean? You're like, uh, 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 something's in my way. So I like that. It just makes it a little bit more difficult. But one block higher. Yeah, you can parkour up onto there if you want to still. All right. And then if we get some slabs and some stairs... We can make it look maybe a little bit more uh, derelict and broken down. Maybe we could do it as it, like it used to be a house. Would that be a better idea? If we take that pole away and we put that there, we put like where the door would be. There would then have been like a window there, but it's broken down. Uh, that one, that one. Bust out that corner. <clears throat> I could still put a door on it. Uh, doors. Like this. If I do it open. I know when you close it, it just closes on that side. But at least the door then looks open. Uh, the roof is gone. The roof is burnt down. But maybe we can put a piece of, a couple of pieces of glass or fences. Fences maybe for this sandstony bit. And I can put one there. Since there's a window used to be there. These two I want to keep open still for shooting out of. And then we can do... Like a little bit of the roof, maybe. Like this. But most of it is sort of collapsed down. Uh, let's get these full ones back again. Something like that. Now, does that look like it used to be a house? If we put a couple of slabs on the top here. Um... I need some more stairs on this side for it to work. 
like that. Can you see like what the house would have looked like? I think I think you can. If we do uh, maybe that, and then that. Yeah, you can see it's like an, a run-down, derelict house. That that works quite well. And we do a couple of other ones like that. And then on the floor here, we'll scatter some roof pieces down, some slabs and stuff like that. Makes more obstacles as well. Little things that will get in your way and things that you've got to jump over. But also, obviously, it makes uh, makes it look like debris. Like it's been hit by a, a, a rocket or something like that. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. I like that. This side cover is a lot easier. It's trees. And we've got jungle trees right nearby. Jungle trees are obviously taller. But normal trees look a little better. Obviously, if we do normal trees, they're going to be mostly at the same height as the cars, which isn't going to make sense. And I think it might give a little bit too much cover. I think I'm going to go with jungle trees. What about one one wide jungle tree? So instead of making them a two by two, you know, four blocks thick, we just grow semi-tall. That's an oak sapling. <laughs> that looked like to me, in the default texture pack, that's sort of the most jungle sapling looking. That's my bad. I do I do digress. But you know what I mean? Like like I don't know. The tank's not gonna fit in there properly. I think that jungle trees are a little bit taller, even if they're just the one wide ones. Uh, jungle tree, that one. There we go. Yeah, yes, definitely. So we want a few of these. I want to sort of uh, clog these up in some areas. That's a short one. I want to clog these up in some areas, and then I want them to be a little bit more separated out in others. I don't mind having a couple of short ones in. I do prefer the tall ones, so. Uh-huh. Something like that. Obviously, we'll have uh, some sort of building on this side as well, hopefully. But just a few trees. Makes a lot of sense. Oh, it's raining. The other thing is the walls. Obviously, we need some sort of surrounding wall to uh, enclose this attraction in. Uh, Material-wise, though, I, I don't know. Uh, we could go with the colours of each side. Which is probably what we will do, because it just makes the most sense. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know. It's a very difficult one to uh, to do. Okay, that looks okay. It's looking a little bit bare, though, still. Obviously, bone mealing the ground is always going to help. Same as on this side with the sand. We'll terraform it up a little bit. Just not too much, but like how we done with the aquarium. How you just got to like, get like a little sand sort of um, hills and stuff like that. They blend in very, very well in the rain, don't they? <laughs> it's like an optical illusion. But yeah, just a few of these dotted about in places. There's still quite a lot that we need to do on this on this ride still. just It's one of my favourite rides, though, that we've ever done. And there's a load more that I want to do. I want to really do some more sort of Call of Duty-style maps. Uh, I've got an idea coming into my head for, like, a Domination-style one. If you've ever played Domination on Call of Duty, I don't know what it's called on other games. Um, but like Domination is basically sort of like Capture the Flag. I know some people call this mode Domination and call the other mode Capture the Flag. I'm just doing what I'm, I'm used to or what I used to play. But Domination has like a point A, a point B and a point C. And you have to try and hold them and you can steal the points of the other people. It's a lot more complicated. It's going to require a lot more redstone. But... There probably is a way to do it. I, I don't know. I haven't looked into it yet. But anyway, I think that's going to do it for this episode. It's raining. Hopefully, we can get the rain away. Oh, hiccups. By n oh, hiccups again. Next episode. Uh, definitely an improvement, though. It's looking a lot more busy. The trees I really like. We just need more of them. It needs to be... If we're going to do trees, it needs to be more foresty-fied. Uh, hopefully, without sort of jeopardizing uh, the vision of the players on either side. The vision of the vehicles that we've built. And without giving the green side an overkill amount of cover. Already I can start to tell that we're getting a lot of cover on this side. You know, behind trees than anywhere else. There is one thing though with PvP. If, you've, uh, if you're a very, very good PvP player, you might know this. Especially if you've played a lot of UHC. 
tr using a tree for cover or using cover at all most of the time will actually be worse for you I'll give you an example let me get a bow here just before we end off the episode we are a little over time but I don't mind if I get a bow here okay and I've got someone on the sandstone side and I'm stuck behind this tree I I've deliberately taken cover behind this tree because in my head I'm thinking you know I'm covered I can't be shot I can poke out and shoot when I need to however the problem is is that as you can see when I'm covered behind this tree I can't see anything PvP tips from Z1 and only. I'm a very good PvP, P PvP player, if you didn't know. Uh, but if I pop out and I shoot, right? Every time that I'm popping out, I don't know exactly where the player on the other side is. Let's say he's behind this house, right? So I shoot at the house. I shoot. I take into cover. I shoot again. I miss, but I shoot, <laughs> shoot again like this, you know? And I pop behind. But he might have moved. I don't know that he's there because I'm having to spend so much time behind this tree so I don't get hit but he might have moved however on this side if I'm out in the open let's say I'm behind this block and that's the tree I was hiding behind as you can see I can focus on this tree 100% now this works better in a UHC style thing and not when you've got multiple enemies but if it's a one-on-one -on -one, I can stay here I can shoot either side of this tree and I can see exactly when the player moves and when he pops out, let's say, I'm, I think he's going to pop out from the left, or from the right of, for me, but for, he's going to, it's on his left, but it's my right, if that makes sense. I can shoot whenever he pops out, and I can pretty much guarantee to hit him, and I can practice to make sure I get the right range, but he can't practice on his side, because if he practices, he's poking his head out and giving it away his position. It's really difficult to explain without being in an actual fight, uh, but I'm sure you guys can sort of gather what I'm saying. I can shoot very, very easily. I can see exactly where he is. And I can keep my cursor pretty much the same. Uh, and shoot every single time. When he has to pop in and out. He has to physically move. So in some cases, being behind cover, what I'm trying to say, is, a, is can be more of a hindrance than a help. But anyway, that's enough rambling from me. If you guys enjoyed the episode, hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. We'll see you in the next episode.